The recent eye checkup camp organized by the Chakasong Public Organization in partnership with Vision Spring Foundation concluded on November 2nd in Chozuba Village after a successful 72-day effort that provided essential eye care services across Fek District. This initiative, aimed at reaching rural communities, especially artisans and weavers, offered 7,000 screenings and distributed 5,557 spectacles, delivering accessible health care to underserved areas. During the closing event, Vezuhu Keho, CPO president, lauded Vision Spring Foundation for their dedicated service to the community. He acknowledged the contributions of filmmaker and researcher Dr. Sophie Lassou, who initiated the collaboration after identifying widespread vision challenges affecting elderly artisans. Kiho also announced that an ambulance provided under MPLADP by MPS Supong Marin Jamir would be available for public use, encouraging residents to make the most of this facility. Kiho extended his gratitude to Dr. Sophie Lassou, a filmmaker and researcher who initiated the partnership with Vision Spring, after noticing how poor eyesight hindered elderly artisans from continuing their work and passing on skills to younger generations. Dr. Lasu, in turn, appreciated the Vision Spring team's commitment and emphasized the importance of partnerships between community organizations to support rural development. Key stakeholders in the program, including Ruman Kanwar of Vision Spring Foundation, shared their positive experiences, noting the enthusiastic response from the community Local leaders such as Sevonyi Kiho of Chizuba Town Council and Velapra Shijo, president of the Chizuba Range Public Organization, praised the camp's impact and called for future initiatives focused on cataract and glaucoma treatment, which many rural residents cannot afford. The event concluded with expressions of gratitude to Chizuba Village for hosting the Vision Spring team and a prayer led by Reverend. The Pupa Swuro senior pastor of Chizuba Village Baptist Church. This initiative not only improved access to health care, but also demonstrated the value of collaborative efforts in addressing rural community needs and enhancing quality of Hi, life. I am Ramon Pong, and we are from Vision Spring Foundation, and uh, our head office in India is in Noida. So here we are working with uh, Chakeshan Public Organization since last two months almost. And we are uh, we did almost seven thousand OPD in the FAC district. There's uh, mainly three uh, places like uh, FAC, uh, then after Futsero, and we will lastly at Sajuba. So we completed seven thousand in in seven thousand. There is almost like five thousand or five thousand two hundred refractive errors. That means uh, five thousand uh, people or they need classes because mostly of them like uh, weavers on artisans this type of thing and after that in every camp we found like almost in average 10 to 15 cataract patient and glaucoma and other eye some uh, conditions so we all uh, all together we in the 7000 we all together found like 500 nearby 400 500 cataract and other eye conditions uh, like disease and this thing so in this uh, this is the first in our Nagaland and we feel so good to do like uh, in the community area and we feel like so lucky to have these people in uh, our uh, project also so thank you for uh, CPO thank you the ma'am and entire community of Secretary and Public Organization so thanks thank you so much since uh, we are going to, to celebrate the achievements we have achieved in our joint venture. We have given a film to Vision Spring Foundation. You have work, you give your best, you have visited almost all Chagasana villages. Immense joy from our villagers, uh, from uh, all nook and corners of our people. I wanted to convey our, as our sincere thanks uh, to the team. I would like to introduce the person uh, behind the success of uh, this uh, journey 
and uh, she is uh, none other than Madame uh, Sophie Lassou. She is an uh, expert uh, in the production of uh, nettle uh, fibers, and uh, that is uh, related to weaving. She did uh, her PhD work with uh, Le Chemi on uh, SAS uh, nettles uh, for five years. And uh, she did uh, her PhD on the subject matter. And now she is uh, working with the state <coughs> doc entire documentation team as a technical uh, advisor. <laughs> Such a big exercise, so individually, we have been a part of it. Most of the time, we have been a part of it. 
or CPU to affect body mujara, I felt that maybe this is the maybe the right body to take this exercise forward. So in your revision spring hello there, the hun to kakuina, sadiva start to share. And then I've not met uh, the team of optometry, mm, but you know I've been getting only positive response from everybody that all of you have been very patient and there were days when you were like so tired, but you know since mm, the people kept coming, you know you all of you went out of your way to take care of uh, our weavers and artisans. So on behalf of my community also, I really want to um, say thank you. Um, so in your in your vision spring in your na First of the five thousand to share only we chat about range to be able to give in your home to each other another two thousand. Aru CPU on for the top of the request for it at the hand on a seven thousand one idea last day. Now it took her name. We do kick over the monjago to hoi my research to pull you share. Who will be calm, grow up in this of the reason of reverse and this of the So I just want to talk about the importance of collaborative work. Now, it's a man who put up our society to be educational health like it. Aria Moisala is a PCPO who will be you front of the TV. ซีเอเมมุดิกะตะหานะบิตอเรตุกามดิกรูละอารามนิชนาเซตุบรมหันตุบรมอันดามอร์เอ็กซ์เซอร์ไซส์ตุวีคูดดูอิตอารูดิเ
<coughs> it was all the sacrificial time, energy, and about all, your concern, your love for our people. May God bless all of you, and we live longer in a long life and serve the humanity in the days to come.
Nepomo, <laughs> Okay. 